So if you didn't know, rich text boxes are the best, um, but they have some issues, one or two. Um, one of them is you can't dynamically set the width, right? And also the thing that dynamically sets the height doesn't always work. So in my game, I figured out how to do it. Um, so how does it work? Well, let me show you. Okay, so here's what I do. I have this rich text panel. So I get a panel control and then I put a rich text inside. And then on the panel control, I have two export variables. I have rich text and then try fit width. And then what that does is when I set the rich text, it looks at this try fit width. And what it does is it splits up the whole string into new lines and then looks over each new line and then says text, get the font, get the string size. And then we just uh, say the size of the outer rect is going to be that size uh, plus 16 because sometimes it's, it's not quite accurate. So I just buffer it a little bit. And the size Y is just going to be the same thing. So get the number of lines and multiply it by the size Y. And that works. It's, it's, it's pretty good. And one other thing about using rich text boxes is that if you want to have dynamic stuff in them, you might be thinking, oh, well, that's really hard, right? How would I do that? So let's look at the MP7. I've updated the message. Notice now it says press LMB, left mouse button, to shoot. The left mouse button is part of my input map. So how am I injecting that into the string? Well, let's look at what I actually put into the rich text. You can see we have the rich text here in my resource. So it says press action click. So this isn't rich text, right? This is something different. If I go into my input map, you can see we have click, all devices, left, left button. So how is this plus this ending up as press LMB to shoot? Where's that LMB coming from? Well, what we do is we use a regular expression. If you don't know what regular expressions are, uh, go find out, they're really useful. I'm not gonna explain them in this video because it's just too big of a scope. Um, but basically I have a pattern here, action, then something, 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 and what that does is search my string for that any pattern. So this is gonna be action, and then, you know, for me it was it was click. So it'll it'll pick that up because this is saying search for any number of characters non greedy. And then what it does is say, okay, uh, just go into the input map, get out that action, and replace it inside of the string. And that gives me this cool behavior. So now I can just inject things. And you could do the same thing if you want to, you know, do localization or whatever as well. So those are two tricks for rich text boxes uh, that I think everybody should know. By the way, this game is Space Bandit. If you want to support me, you can wishlist it. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks.